This video is going to be about nonverbal communication, the ways that we communicate with other human beings without our spoken words, or sometimes in conjunction with our spoken words. Uh, so nonverbal communication can in include various things that we do with our body. Uh, it can, can include things like body language, like when you're waiting for someone and you might be shuffling around, hunching your shoulders a little bit, your tone of voice when you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, rather than uh-huh, uh-huh, or uh-huh, you know? All of these ways that we say things can communicate, can, can communicate meaning beyond just the words that are coming out of your mouth. And then facial expressions, yeah. You know, we can do little things, even if you're not realizing it while you're listening to somebody. You know, little things that you can do that convey meaning. Now, with nonverbal communication, we know that it exists. We know that it's important. We know that it serves this important function. Uh, one question that social scientists are still working on is whether nonverbal communication is universal. Is it used the same all around the world and in different cultures. And well, like many questions that we ask in social science, the answer is like, well, it depends on which specific type you're talking about. So uh, uh, one relevant idea is this thing called the universality hypothesis. Uh, with the university, university, with the universality hypothesis, uh, this proposes that nonverbal facial expressions are universal and the same across different cultures. Um, a big name that's associated with this idea is Ekman, Paul Ekman. Uh, and um, Ekman has uh, studied these uh, six universal facial expressions to convey emotion. And if you've seen the movie Inside Out, uh, some of this may seem a little bit familiar. Remember they had the different emotions represented uh, in the main character's mind or brain. And so the six universal emotions, fear, disgust, surprise, anger, sadness, and happiness or joy all around the world in many different cultures, and we've done the observations uh, to verify that yes, in cultures around the world, the facial expressions that we uh, associate with these universal emotional facial expressions, you see them worldwide. This means joy. This means anger disgust. We do similar things with our faces to convey those mo emotions worldwide and we see it early on. We see it in infancy and we see that even infants that are blind, that are not getting visual input that could possibly shape or reinforce uh, using these facial expressions, they will use them too. Like they will smile and turn their head in the direction of their mother's voice, which is something you see in sighted infants too. Uh, and so, you know, we have lots of different evidence that there's something about these six universal emotional expressions that we just do naturally. Uh, they don't have that strong learn component that other types of communication might have because we do have some emotional expressions that are more uh, shaped by culture or society. Uh, things like pride and embarrassment. Uh, if you're interested in those, when I teach my developmental psychology classes, I go into a little bit more detail about the, um, the self-conscious emotions and how they are more you have to learn how and when to express those. All right, so for these, um, for these six facial expressions, uh, even people who cannot see, they show the full range of these expressions uh, to convey their emotions, even if they haven't seen themselves uh, or seen other people using their face in this way to, to communicate that way. And, um, so, uh, and, and so when we try to figure out if nonverbal communication is universal, what we say is, well, we have converging evidence. Converging evidence means lots of evidence collected in different studies, different samples, different methodology, all coming together to support a general hypothesis. So uh, all of these studies lend general support for the university hypothesis, at least for these six universal emotions. There are other types of nonverbal communication where we don't have converging evidence. We actually uh, have, uh, we get different evidence in different samples uh, for other types of specific nonverbal communication, which I will talk about in a separate video.